so you've talked about strike hold we have heard all the amazing things it can do and now you're going to show us what this product can do. Exactly. And that's what we do. Instead of claiming that we have a, some kind of great product, and we can show you uh, testimonials from people all over the world, war fighters, uh, different businesses, offshore drilling facilities, Panama Canal, whatever. But what we do is show you what it can actually do instead of telling you how great it is. Well, let's do it. Okay. First thing I'd like to show you is its cleaning capability. Now. Years ago, I used, to, uh, I used to bring rusted metal, and at different shows, I'd clean the rust and corrosion off of the metals right at the shows. Well, the, the people that put on the shows would get very upset with me because there'd be rust all over the place. Uh, however, so what I did, I found a product, a, a product that I used to use was an outstanding product, and they show on the front of their uh, label a styrofoam cup and they'd say instantly it'd break it down to nothing. It'd show you three uh, pictures, one of it's uh, solid, and then half gone, and then completely dissolved. Because this is a styrofoam, it's a petroleum byproduct, and for demonstration purposes, it represents rust corrosion and carbon. So, I happen to have a styrofoam cup. Now, I add water to it. Why? Water precipitates rust and corrosion, and by the way, this is regular water out of our well outside. All right, we have good mountain Georgia uh, water here. Uh, another product that everybody's aware of is a product, I don't even want to say the names. I don't like saying <laughs> what other products are, but uh, I'm sure that if you look at this can, you know exactly what it is. Now, this product's been around for 60 years. 1953, they developed it. Well, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, people not changing their, their products. Well, this hasn't been changed in 60 years, okay? So if I put that into that styrofoam cup, it does what they somewhat claim it would be. They say it's a water displacer. Well, that's floating on top of water. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. This is water displacement. I'm displacing water. I'm moving water. That is not moving water. It's just sitting there. All these different products claim to be water displacers. Here's another one here. This happens to be an excellent product excellent product as I said before uh, this claims that instantly it's going to eat to that styrofoam okay but what precipitates rust and corrosion moisture right so I put that in there instant action well not to hold you in suspense but that instant action with or without water will actually take about six to eight minutes to happen but it'll eat away at the top of the cup because it's it's lighter than water it floats on water well we wanted to have a product that would actually attack moisture at its source and that's the water okay what you're gonna have to move just a little bit because I'm gonna have to put this over here and this will go pretty quick strike hold is heavier than water it goes through that stuff floating on top then goes through the water and eats away at the styrofoam which represents the rust corrosion of carbon but it does not hurt in contrast to a lot of product uh, paint parkerization bluing gel coating, monofilm, fishing line, most plastics, and the reason I say most plastics is because I haven't found any plastic that hurts. But you'll see what's happening to the cup. Strike hold has what you call capillary action. If you were put it out at the bottom of a bolt, it would work its way up against gravity, okay? And within a few minutes, it will totally dissolve that cup, okay? That shows the cleaning capability. What I'd like to show you next is the protecting capability because after we clean rust, corrosion, and carbon off of a piece of metal, what usually happens within a few days? Comes back. Comes right back. Okay. Well, I just went out yesterday and bought this bulb. This is a kind of this is a 40 watt decorative bulb. Usually for my demonstrations, I use uh, uh, just appliance light bulbs because they don't break as easy. But what I did, I just sprayed this, and with the capillary action, it's going to move and get into all nooks and crannies of this bulb. I have a socket. This is electricity, and for those skeptical people, this isn't trick electricity. It's real electricity, okay? <laughs> and I even keep this open a little bit so you can see the... There is no tricks to this at all. Uh, but as my wife always tells me, Make sure you tell everybody, don't try this at home. You're a trained professional. So I'm a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Now, this is hot, okay? 
And if I sprayed, actually, if I sprayed this bulb and all this stuff down a year ago, it would still be on, the, on this metal. As I was telling you a story about the, the lights at our house down in Florida. But with that protective coating and a dielectric strength of over 40,000 volts, it allows me to do this. I can even go off and on. Electricians are my favorite customers. They just think I'm out of my mind. Well, I'm crazy but not stupid. I wouldn't do this if it was going to hurt me. However, if I were to take this out and touch that metal, that would make me jump a little bit. But as long as I don't do that, I'm okay, because that, that way I'd be grounding it. But think of the applications, not only for all your tools and equipment, but for Christmas lights. Christmas lights, we, we got the same Christmas lights we had years ago because we spray them down with Strykolt. But this shows how it protects. The, the uh, styrofoam cup showed the protecting capability. Now, I'm going to show you something that people used to ask me about the lubricating capability. So I'd show them pictures and, and uh, testimonials in our book from warfighters and and different uh, maintenance departments saying how it held up against the metal on metal, the friction reducing capability, the lubricating capability. Okay? Well, as I told you, I like to show you what Strykol is capable of doing instead of just talking about it. So, what I did, I went out and bought the cheapest drill money can buy. Now, I don't mind showing this to you. I mean, they, you know, you go there, this costs 20 bucks at Walmart. It's a Black and Decker. Understand something, I've been using this drill now for God, oh, close to a year and a half. What I do with this, and I'll do it several times a day. I told you, if I sprayed that uh, light bulb a year ago, it would still work. This right here, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, don't want to find out. This can kill you, and, and this is no joke. You hear about people using drills or saws or so forth in a driveway when it's wet and get electrocuted. A lot of EMT people will make sure that I know about that. Well, what I just did, I sprayed the strike on inside there. And that's why I'll spray it down any time I do the demonstration. As I said, I'm crazy but not stupid. But if uh, I turn this on, you can actually see the sparks coming out of that. If you come up close, you can see the sparks. Okay, that is precipitated by... Uh, the metal on metal, the armature and the brush. You might want to stand back just a hair. Now to kind of prove my point, this is what I do. And this is kind of off the chart, and like I say, I'm a trained professional. Strike hole leaves that protective coating on there, having that dielectric strength of over 40,000 volts, it allows me to do this. I don't know if you can still see it, but with the camera, but it's I've got water in here and it's still running. How long will I let it run? Maybe about 20, 30 seconds because I don't want to take a chance of it not working. But you can see also the lights, the arc. But this is what Strike Hold is capable of doing. Strike Hold is a cleaner, it's a protectant, and it's a lubricant. All right? And this is what Strike Hold is capable of doing. Now, that's pretty impressive. Yes, I'm sure you had a charge out of that, <laughs> you know, an electrifying demonstration, wouldn't you say? But here is the main reason why we developed strike hole in the first place. We learned from the first Gulf War, troops had a problem with the sand. With the different chemicals that they were using, uh, with the paraffin, Teflon, and silicone, they were becoming gummy, picking up sand, dirt, and dust, and becoming an abrasive paste, causing a lot of malfunctions. Well, what I did was wanted to make something that would not only clean, lubricate, and protect, but also be a dry lube. Very, very important. There's dry lube, so-called dry lubricants around, like graphite and things like that. Well, graphite's a problem, too. It's because graphite attracts moisture, and when it becomes moist, it becomes a, 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 a abrasive paste, and it'll break down aluminum receivers just on firearms. All right? Well, strike cold leaves that dry shield, like, I feel that. There's a dry shield-like foam on there. You do not see any, you don't, there is no paraffin, teflon, or silicone. It won't gum up. It'll stay on there indefinitely, but it leaves that protective shield-like film on the metal like so. And there's not even any, any oily residues. Nothing. 
That's what the Strike Hole does. Strike Hole is a cleaner, dry lubricant, and a protectant. Uh, and using the propellants we use in our aerosol can, Strike Hold is the most inexpensive product there is out in the market. Not going into a marketing thing, but our cans, this is very important, most cans contain either paraffin, Teflon, or silicone. So close to 60% of those cans is liquid butane or propane propellant, which leaves you less than three ounces of product in these cans. In the same size can, we have over 10 and a quarter ounce product in this can because we use CO2 propellant, which not only gives you more product, it makes it non-flammable by flame projection. But there is over 10 ounces of product in this can, about two and a half ounces of product in this can. This gives you four times more product. This costs the end user around 90 cents an ounce. This costs the end user about 350 an ounce. It's not rocket science. Strike cold, cleans, lubricates, and protects. We're very proud of it, and if you need any, just look us up. Mike, thank you for that demonstration. Uh, it will certainly be something I'll never forget. <laughs> thank you very much. It's, it's somewhat electrifying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Thank you very much.